uh, okay, this uh, Western Red Cedar here, the Bacata, might just be the most incredibly insane examples I've seen of life finding a way to persevere and keep on keeping on despite all the hardships thrown its way. So it's acting right now as a living nurse log. So a nurse log is what happens when a tree falls over in a forest ecosystem. It becomes a platform that other trees and plants use to germinate on to get access to light and resources um, above the competition of a forest floor. So this tree fell over a long time ago. Its roots are still way down that way, connected. I'll talk about that in a moment. But this is the original leader of the tree. So the tip of the tree is long dead. It's got mosses and salal and stuff growing on top of it. And then this tree here is a Western Red Cedar, but it's not growing epiphytically on this tree. It's actually part of that original tree. It would have been a formerly lateral branch growing sideways on that tree. Then the tree fell over. It is reiterated to become a new leader growing straight up, still actively photosynthesizing because it's still connected to the roots in the soil way down that way. So we can follow this living part of cambium here around this dead section, follow this living part. It actually joins up with another living part here kind of for a bit. And you can see it's got all sorts of moss and all sorts of convergius and beak moss, salal, um, huckleberries. We've got this Western hemlock growing on, which is growing epiphytically. You can see that it has its own root systems that is going under the bark here, trying to find their way to accessing water so it can grow and thrive. And we keep going down that living part of the cambium here, still connected underneath the dead part of the tree all the way down we keep moving you can see more huckleberry salal sword fern all the stuff growing on this tree and then we kind of come to the end here where the roots of the original tree it fell over its roots stay in the soil so it's still able to connect to the root network of the original tree so it's still photosynthesizing drawing water up through it through its roots here following that cambium all the way back this way all the way up the old dead part of the tree around the hemlock, underneath the salal, under all the mosses, and then whoosh, straight up to the leaves of this new leader that's reiterated from that old lateral branch, continuing to go on thriving and living. How incredible of an example of life persevering is that? What a beauty. So if this tree can find a way to keep on growing and thriving despite falling over, having, you know, its bark ripped off, having things growing on it, having fungi eating it, decaying it, and still find a way to punch through and find an opportunity to continue growing and thriving in a healthy forest ecosystem, you can handle your Monday.